hoping you can hear me over the sound of uh, sizzling pork chops cooking. August 22nd, 2013, about 4.21 in the morning. Uh, quick update, nothing too spectacular to add to the, uh, to the vlog. Um, did weigh in at an all-time low this morning at 270.6, so that is 117.1 pounds lost since January of 2010. So, uh, yeah, still a, a slow burn pro process with lots of uh, hurdles so far, but could be worse. Pretty happy. Um, been working out as best I can with my work schedule still. Um, still, you know, between two and three days per week at the gym, and then um, as I've been trying to do more often lately, took a hike a few days back, and I've been doing push-ups here at home, and I might do some kettlebells tonight, even though I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to kettlebells, and um, the diet's been pretty well on point. You know, I will, I will grant myself um, some ice cream or a small, you know, like ketchup or something that's technically off plan here and there, but no more than, you know, once or twice per week, excluding the cheat day, which is, you know, this past week I actually did manage to limit to one uh, cheat meal. Hang on, I have to flip these. Ah. Sorry to waste your time, you can still hear me, but probably not going to edit this out because I'm recording this on my phone and I don't have any decent video editing software on my computer, so it is what it is. Okay. Um, I haven't really done like any updated body shots, but I'm not really sure there's measurements for some reason. Well, I mean, I guess they're, they are at a low. That's one thing I've noticed for sure, like, my vascularity has... My muscle definition has not really increased that much, but my vascularity has increased a shit ton. That's my... It's weird, too, that my non-dominant arm tends to, tend to have the, the biggest boost in veininess. this angle, it's just not really very good and on my phone. Uh, as you can see, this is, a, this is why I've achieved partner status on YouTube back before it was so easy to do so because of my excellent production quality here. I'm using a, work, a dirty worksheet to prop. So still very respectably rotund at just over 270.5 pounds. But coming along a bit, the gut is still bad. Jiggling, gross. But, you know, not feeling too bad. Also, I feel like my legs have gotten a bit smaller too. I need to start hitting the squats pretty hard again. Um, going camping here uh, this afternoon for two days. See how that goes. Actually, so today is going to be a cheat day, and that cheat day will be filled with s'mores and booze and burgers. And but hopefully, I can keep it in check well enough. And more importantly, hopefully, the second day of camping, I can manage to. Um, you know, cut it off in 
then, you know, day two, stick with some burgers with no buns and some brats and some fruit salad or maybe some potatoes, more or on plan stuff. Because it seems these days, um, I haven't hit the 280s for a while, for a couple of weeks. And my cheap meals slash cheap days have had less impact now than they had before. So I expect, you know, with kind of being out there in the heat and the sun and maybe doing some hiking and um, some swimming at the reservoir and um, that I shouldn't really gain any weight even from a pretty solid cheat day. The last couple times I've gone camping, um, I have tried to keep it somewhat in check, so not much of a drinker, but it's, it kind of gets boring out there with just two of us, so, you know, maybe some, you know, rum and Diet Coke and... So, still no sugar and still no gluten, but you are getting some uh, shittiness from, from, from the rum itself and whatever comes along with the diet soda, um, you know, it's debatable. And the last couple times, I, I did, maybe a month ago, I pretty much made up for a 10-year absence and having no s'mores in one day. I hadn't had a s'mores, hadn't been camping in probably two decades. And I think I ate like 15 substantial s'mores over the course of a day and a half. So maybe we'll limit that to like eight and uh, a couple burgers with buns. And then the next day, cut it off. Because last time I went out camping, yeah, I pretty much had some burgers and some brats with no buns at all. And some fruit salad with the um, rum and Diet Coke. And I, I think I may have gained a pound, if that. So not too bad. Um... Still on the test, one shot per week. Still on the DHEA. Haven't made any changes there. Um, and you know, it's, it's going okay, I feel okay. So, we'll see if I can the next time I post, hopefully be in the 260s and maybe at that point I can shave this chin fuzz here and not look grotesque. I can't tell what the double chin's doing. If, had this for so long now, I just uh, sort of assume the worst. I don't want to shave it off permanently, but I am kind of interested in seeing how I look without this. Um, the last time was a catastrophic pour this time, hopefully. Maybe just a mild disappointment. I'll take a mild disappointment. Um, so that's it. Thank you, new subs. Thanks for watching. And um, thank you, old subs. Thanks for sticking around and commenting and all that jazz. And... That's all. So until next time, next time I post, I will be in the 260s. So we'll see how that looks. And if it's 269.9, it's not going to look any different than today. So, but anyways, feeling healthier overall and a bit less, you know, self-conscious out in public. But, you know, I still am a technically an obese man. So not walking around with my chest held too high, but could be worse. So see you next time.